Play clock number five. Hurts high, collected, working things over. Farrell to the end zone. Touchdown, Calvin Ridley! Ha <laughs> ha! 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 What's good? Yo! To was good, yo. To was good, man. It's your boy Photo, man, and I apologize for the the antics early. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're gonna say. I know what y'all are thinking. Yes, 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 and yes. You know, answer to all y'all questions. Yes, bro. We should have been in this game. It's a reason. Why they put Alabama in this game. However, if you rewind back just a little bit uh, for the people that picked the top four teams, Alabama shouldn't have been in it. They shouldn't have. But then I was thinking the reason I said that they shouldn't have been in the first place because we had all the linebackers. We had so many injuries. I was like, man, I don't want to see another Alabama game this year because we lost way too many people. To the, in the Florida State game. We lost something to the magnitude of uh, offensive linemen, all three linebackers, and you couple that with uh, some, some of the defensive players leaving, it was uh, enough to get through the SEC, but not enough to win a title. That's what I was saying. If we were healthy, we could win a title. Fast forward that to tonight. We got picked to get in. Bama gonna roll if they healthy. If they not healthy, it's tough sledding for them guys, man. However, Clemson ran into a buzz out tonight, man. And it was just a, a healthy Alabama team, defensive. That and I would say this, Clemson lost a lot of people early. They lost a lot of people early. They lost the, the running back to a concussion, the number one uh, receiver, which kept them from putting so many receivers out there, so many they could put receivers out there, but it kept them from putting so many effective wide receivers out there. You know what I'm saying? So you would have had McCain, then you'd have somebody up top. And you couple that with Kelly Bryant just didn't have no time to throw. And the running game wouldn't get nothing done. It was just, it was an easy win for Bellman. This was an easy win because of the, the way the first quarter went. I don't really think it would have made much of a difference if those two players would have played anyway. You know what I'm saying? Some of the Clemson fans are probably going to get at me and be like, it would have made a difference, blah, 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 blah. I mean, like, the defense. I mean, it, it was just a battle. It was a real battle of field, field position. And when you start playing with that battle of field position, you give a team the ball inside their own 10-yard line on average, it's going to be tough to score against that number one defense, even without the linebackers and stuff. However, with the linebackers, it's damn near impossible to do. I promise. Just watching this. If, if you've seen the Florida State game, the way they were flying around, it is absolutely damn near impossible to score 90, go 90 yards and get into the end zone, unless it happens on one big play, which Alabama does not give. And Kelly Bryant, he just didn't have the time to get deep. It was one play that he, I seen that I was, I was like, maybe Alabama should have changed. And that was when um, he he snapped the ball, he caught it, and he stood for like one second and threw it high and deep. And I was like, oh, they might want to switch that up a little bit because uh, they they starting to see and get uh, get those looks. But then again, after after that one play, he just kept launching it from a different mark. He couldn't he couldn't get to that place that he felt comfortable. And also, they wouldn't they wouldn't allow him to run where he wanted to run. They kept pushing him inside. I mean, pushing him like usually, like Jalen Hurst can finagle his way and get out. Kelly Bryant was surrounded, and then they attacked him. You know what I'm saying? It was it was tough to watch tonight. It was it was really tough to watch. But however, guys, Alabama played. They played. Remember when you remember when um. We go, we go back to, remember when I made that video, should Nick Saban be fired? I was really talking about um, the offensive coordinator throwing the ball so goddamn much. That's what I was saying. Today, as we look, bro, we ran the ball 42 times. You understand what that means? Damian Harris has 77 yards on 
19 carries. Jalen Hurst, 11 carries, 40 yards. Bo Scarborough, Bo Scarborough. I hope I'm saying that right. 12 carries, 24 yards. 24 big yards. Can I can I say that? Like inside those 12 carries, every three carries was a first down. Every three carries was a first down. That's why I'm saying that. With a total of 140 yards. And we only threw the ball 24 times. Like dink and don't. And then we threw the pass. Passes that were exact, completely wide open. Play clock under five. Hurts, calm, collected, looking things over. Farrell to the end zone. Touchdown, Calvin Ridley. And that equals 24 passes. It's hard as hell to beat Alabama running 42 times. It's damn impossible when they run it 40 times for almost damn 10 yards a carry. That's tough. That, that, that game was just not meant for them to win. But for Clemson to win, man, that was a tough game. They they started slow and they ended slower. That's just that's just what happened, man. Then the I had I didn't even get started. I'm not even gonna reach over into the boundaries of the unknown called that Alabama defense. I mean the the pick from the uh from uh 94. They're doing it right now. Second and two. Brian pressured and it is a turnover. And then the play, the play when 94 caught that pass in the end zone. Their goal line set. They're going to throw oh, they're gonna pass to him. Oh, my. Story booking for the big man. That's just, that's just work a, a genius. When I seen it, I was like, no. I, when, I, when I seen him line up for this play. I'm just like, that'll be a badass play if the uh, if 94 flares out. That'll be tough because I know Clemson sold completely out on the run. And who wouldn't have? I know y'all Clemson fans going to say, oh, it was a hold. It was a hold. It, I mean, and it was, but so was that. I think that uh, that championship uh, pass that, that, that they caught, it wasn't a hold, but it was definitely a pick. So we're not even gonna go there. It was a great play. You gotta, they definitely gotta taste of their own medicine. But did y'all see that boy toe tap? He got a little pick play. They ran a that boy toe tap. Bap, bap. Defensive end toe tap. That's lit. I hope Madden didn't see that. Offense defense alignment, you can put them at receiver and they'll be toe tapping all day on Madden. The next update coming in the morning. <laughs> I know they're thinking about the toe taps. Bap, bap. But anyway, man, all in all, I already knew what was going to happen if Alabama got all the linebackers back, all their linebackers. I knew that that would happen. I knew that Saban was not going to allow Nick's, um, uh, the offensive coordinator, to throw the ball that much again. He was not going to allow him to call that many running passing plays again. You feel me? And 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 only run the ball 15 times. Auburn got away lucky. Auburn got something lucky. As they got dropped by Georgia and then get dropped by mother UCF. Come on, man. But anyway, that's a whole nother video, guys. It's tough not to say this time. It's it's so tough for the world not to say this time. The SEC is the best country in the nation. How can you say that? I mean, they got two teams out of the whole world, whole nation of the United States, colleges. They have two teams from the same conference in the Super Bowl, the, the national championship. Two teams. I don't remember how many Division One, maybe 150 schools or somewhere up in there. That's a lot of schools. And you telling me, and you're telling me two from the same conference out of all these people? And they're not the best, man. Please. That just goes to show you that power football is still alive in America. That's just it. Two running backs. Both of these teams had three running backs. Bo Jacobs and blah, blah, blah. And Sony Michelle, Swift, and uh, Nick Chubbs. 
that's that's just what that means, man. It's, it's just still alive. Power football is still alive, man. And it's it is tough to stop when it's done when it's being done correctly. Especially when it's backed up by you got a power run offense and then the defense is coming down your throat. Georgia defense did give up about 50 points though. Let's just, let's just go down. But however, the SEC has two teams in the national championship. That makes them the best conference in the world. I'm just saying we're gonna end with that. And I believe Nick Saban deserves deserves another raise. If you don't believe me, or you don't like what I'm saying, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you if you don't like what I'm saying. But anyway, man, make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up, man. And leave all your comments down below. If I got something wrong, if I missed a play that y'all think was pivotal, make sure, make sure you leave comments. And let's be respectful in the comment section, man. And you know what I'm saying? Let's have a nice discussion down there because I know it's going to be crazy and all that good jazz, man. So without further ado, man, it's your boy, Photo, man. <sighs> and I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Roll time, baby.